it has been a really long summer. Like... We're back! And we've got stuff to celebrate, which is super exciting. We've crossed over 3,000 subscribers, so yay! Thank you everybody for uh, sticking around with us even in our time of absence. And we got our first Patreon. So uh, thank you, Steve Lyles. You're the best. You are number one, literally. So <laughs> thank you very much. So we've got 3,000 subscribers. We've got a Patreon. We are getting back into the swing of things. Mike and I had a very, very rough summer. Um, it was just not an enjoyable five months. It's been... It's just not been very fun. So anyway, I'm going to give you guys a little update on what we've been doing, what we're up to. So first of all is that none of our plans for the summer went according to plan. We were going to, the grand plan was actually to travel, to be on the road pretty much constantly. And there ended up being a bunch of funding issues with Michael's PhD program. For those of y'all that don't know, Michael is in the final stages of doing his PhD in history. He's in the dissertation stage, so he's done with all of the coursework and all of that, but there was a sizable issue with his funding, and so the funding that we got for the summer and for the fall ended up being less than half of what we had anticipated, and that put us in a real big crunch, like a real big pull money out of our retirement accounts and still not have enough to pay the bills kind of crunch. It just really, really messed with the entirety of the plans that we had for the summer. So we were really only supposed to be in Florida for like three weeks to make some repairs, to add a couple of things into the bus to make being on the road a little bit more pleasant and a little less like glamping in our school bus and hanging out at truck stops because that was just is not a good situation to be in permanently and yeah it just really messed with it so three weeks turned into five months <laughs> it's just oh my god so yeah anyway I have recently started a new job so I'm back working as a librarian and I'm at a small branch library now, which is actually really enjoyable. It's a totally different feel from being in the big central branch. And it's just really been very nice and very enjoyable. So yeah, so I'm doing that. Mike is looking for teaching jobs still. He's still writing his dissertation. And so we had some major projects that we were working on in the bus for the summer. And we had a few really big problems from some of our earlier projects. So, so one thing that we did is we have actually constructed a front passenger seat and the way that we organized it is we actually did everything using these metal pipes so it's a little bit like old school bus seating in that you know we've got a nice bench that's big enough for me and Finn to sit on and it faces forward and then we've basically got a little breaker in the bars and stuff like that. So we have actually put in a front seat and we did that because Mike took his mom to Georgia in the school bus. Like she asked to go in the bus and everything. So she was actually our first official passenger and the two of them drove from Orlando to out like north of Atlanta and hung out took a couple days and traveled and he said they had a really good time and it was just really nice. So yeah, he went and visited some family with the bus and his mom was actually not terrified to ride in it, which is good because so far no one else is willing to take a trip in the bus except for us. But, you know, it's not that scary. So the other thing that we have recently worked on is we've done a little work up here for Mike's desk. He is in the middle of organizing everything, but we've got basically a massive bookcase and then down through here even more because he is still working on his dissertation which means that there are a lot of books and papers and documents and images and all sorts of research material that he needs and that he needs to have on hand that is easily accessible so a hunk of the bus has gotten taken up with his research material when we were in Texas, he had his own office, and so that's where everything lived. But now, you know, that we're here, we've got to have another place for it. And 
it's had to find a home on the bus, which has been sort of problematic trying to figure out where everything should go because it is a lot of material. But, you know, we're working on it. It's, um, it's pretty good. And then our bathroom is still not done. <laughs> we haven't even touched it this whole summer, so that's super exciting. But the other big thing that happened is the air conditioner. And the air conditioner has been a little bit of a struggle. It's just been, it's been a saga. So basically what happened is that everything was working fine with the way that we had done it previously. And then we moved the bus and the orientation of the bus moved. We don't have levelers on the bus. So however the ground is situated is how the bus is going to sit. So if it's tilted like this, the bus is going to tilt whichever way it's parked. And so when we built it, we were at a specific like inclination and things drained for the right because it, that's the way the bus was tilted. And when we moved, we didn't account for that. And our level changed and the water stopped draining properly and we didn't notice until it was way too late. So basically what happened is this whole unit didn't drain properly and it flooded about four feet in the front of the AC unit and four feet into the back of the AC unit. So back into the bus where the whole closet area was and everything. And if you've ever been in Florida, heat and humidity and a lot of water is a great breeding ground, breeding ground for a bunch of stuff. And so we ended up with a giant mold problem. And we had to rip out a big hunk of the back of the bus and then rebuild the whole thing. So that was um, problematic. And uh, it was annoying and it was not an anticipated spending thing. So basically when we rebuilt the AC unit, we took into consideration every comment that had gotten left on both of our previous AC videos and modified the design. We fiddled with the drainage and we ended up coming up with something that works beautifully now. And we haven't actually fully fastened it yet because we're a little paranoid about it, which is why it's, it hasn't been sealed. It hasn't been done on here totally properly. This is the only thing these little clips are what's holding this front panel on because every week or so we open it up and we poke around and we just double check and make sure that everything is actually draining the way that it should be draining because that is not something that I ever want to end up having to deal with again. There was so much mold and actually luckily for us there was no black mold which is great. It was mostly that like pinky penicillin mold so it wasn't as bad as it could have been but it did a lot of damage and it, it cost a fair amount and took a bunch of time to, you know, tear everything out and replace it. And it was just, it was just a little bit of a nightmare. So we dealt with that for a pretty sizable hunk of, you know, what was going on and then rebuilding it and making sure that it was working. And then we try something else and it wouldn't work right. It'd be draining weird. And so we'd have to stop it, dry everything up, give it a couple of days just to make sure that everything had aired out properly obsessively check for mold growth and then try something new and repeat that process and it took maybe four four or five attempts to get it to where it drained properly and drained properly consistently no matter how we moved the bus and yeah so that's been super exciting and fun the other thing that happened is we went through a hurricane on the bus hurricane irma came through and we decided to go ahead and ride it out in central florida we had originally thought about taking it taking the bus and going north but the way that the hurricane was tracking it was a little bit all over the place and so we didn't want to end up in the situation where we got stuck somewhere and still got walked by a hurricane and had nowhere but the bus to go and we also knew because Mike and I have both gone through hurricanes before, that I'm going to sit down in my lovely front seat. So Mike and I both knew from previous hurricanes, because we've lived in, he lived in Puerto Rico, that's where he's from, and I've been in Florida my whole life, and so we've both gone through hurricanes a number of times. And so we knew a little bit of what to expect, and usually when evacuations have been ordered, they do bring in gas a little bit quicker to accommodate for the increased traffic on the roads but 
diesel is not always part of that and diesel has a tendency to run out and we also didn't want to end up in a situation where we got stranded because we had no gas and we were stuck on the highway and then we got walled by a hurricane anyway so we decided to board the bus up park it so it was sheltered by my mom's house as much as possible and just hope for the best so that's what we did we hunkered down with my sister and her family because they have a concrete block house and waited it out and actually everything was mostly okay we lost half a window so we will have a video coming up on how we repaired that we actually just took the whole window out and replaced it and did some stuff so we'll have a video coming up on that we did film it so we've got stuff coming and everything is on the up and up now we're out of the being that level of broke is harder than Than you ever think it's going to be until you're in it and it is exhausting it's just mentally and emotionally draining on on a level that i had never actually comprehended because i've never been in that situation before so it's nice to not be there anymore and yeah so we've got plans we've got stuff in the pipeline that's coming up and that is pretty much it for everything that's going on with us so thanks for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff from us. If you would like to join our very teeny tiny Patreon family, then there will be a link below so you can check that out. And yeah, that I think is actually pretty much seriously it. So I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Live it on, and I can call it my existence.